Melbourne is on the southeast coast of Australia. It's on a bay called Port Phillip, and the Yarra River runs through the city. Native Australians, or Aborigines, lived in Melbourne for thousands of years before the first Europeans arrived in 1835. British immigrants named the town after the Prime Minister of Great Britain, Lord Melbourne. Melbourne is the capital of the state of Victoria and the second biggest city in Australia, with a population of four million. Today, it's a large and exciting city. It can be busy and crowded, but getting around is easy because it has the largest tram service in the world. It's got 245 kilometers of tram lines, 500 trams, and over 1,800 tram stops. Melbournians, or Melbourne residents, love eating out. The city's parks and beaches are also popular with visitors and local people. Over a million tourists visit the city every year. Not far from the city centre, the area of St Kilda is very popular. People go on the rides in the Luna Park theme park, go for a walk on the pier, relax on the beach or go swimming. St Kilda also has some of Melbourne's most popular places to eat and drink. Melburnians love sport. International tennis, motor racing and football events take place here. The Melbourne Cricket Ground, or MCG, is a world-famous stadium which can hold over a hundred thousand fans. If you visit Melbourne in March, you can attend the Australian Formula One Grand Prix race here in Albert Park. Melbourne is also one of Australia's most multicultural cities. About 40% of its residents were born in other countries. Today, Melburnians are from more than 230 nations and they speak more than 180 languages. Melbourne's multiculturalism comes from its history. In the 1850s, people discovered gold here. People came from a lot of different countries to look for gold. Many of those gold rush immigrants were from China. Today, there is still a large Chinese community in Melbourne and there's an old Chinatown area of the city. Between the 1920s and the 1950s, a lot of Italians came to Melbourne. They lived in the Ligon Street area of the city. Today, this area has fashionable Italian cafes and shops. Melbourne has also got a large Vietnamese community. A lot of Vietnamese people came to Australia in the 1970s when there was a war in Vietnam. Today, 16% of Melbourne's population is from Asia. But Melbourne is most famous for its Greek community. The city's Greek area is between Lonsdale and Swanston Street. The city has the largest Greek population outside Greece in the world. <laughs> 